The Rock, oh, yeah. Dwayne Johnson. He just got fifty million dollars from Amazon. Already got the money. I heard for a, an upcoming movie. They didn't even name the movie, but he got fifty million dollars. I don't get it. But now that that movie is going to be delayed with this actor strike and the writer strike. See, these studios think they can make these movies without without writers and actors. And they and the big hold up on that is is what we were just talking about, the AI. Mm-hmm. They can make those movies and use those CGIs or whatever the images. Well, yeah, they can, but that's going to knock the actors out of work. So they're fighting that. But without the writers, where are they going to come up with these ideas? The AI is going to make up the ideas. I've seen a lot of movies with a lot of thought put in them that were the absolute crap. So I can imagine what an AI machine would come up with. I don't know. Do you go so, to the cinema often, Dutch? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, well, who could go to the cinema? I got uh, I got fifty thousand movies sitting right in front of me. Yeah, but I I went, yeah. I went to go see the latest Indiana Jones, and it was a bit uncanny valley. That he tried to de-age Harrison Ford. I, I told you this, didn't I? He tried to you de- did, yeah. But you were you were drunk mm. and wasn't making a lot of sense. So. And I was dressed like but Indiana I, I, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but I heard that. But I heard. They also tried to do Robert De Niro in that latest Godfather movie. They did. It didn't work. Mm. The, I uh, mean, oh, what was it called? It was a Martin Scorsese one with the. Um, it was on Netflix, and it had Steve, not Steve Buscemi, Joe Pesci in it, and it had all the classics in it. I think that's the one I'm talking about. Yeah. But it's a remake of a continuation of the Godfather, I guess. Basically, it's something something like that. And it's three and a half hours long. <clears throat> I'm just looking up as well. In fact, while I'm looking this up, tell me if you, because this is one of the questions for later on down the line. So obviously, you know, the writers are on strike, the actors are on strike. Do you think we're going to see John Cena or The Rock or Dave Bautista in WWE for a shot here or there now that their calendars have freed up massively? Well, I, we'll, we'll talk about this later. No, I might as well I talk about it see, now. Well, I think Cena, I think you'll see him. Because he was on, what was he on, SummerSlam? What was he on? No, he was on the Money Recently. in the Bank thing where he turned up and said, we should have WrestleMania here in, in London kind of thing. He did that. But he was he wrestled Austin Theory in another pay-per-view before that. Mm, WrestleMania I think you'll see, I, Okay. I think you'll see John Cena. Possibly you'll see The Rock. Batista, I don't know. The, the jury's out on him. I don't know if we'll see him or not. It's called the Irishman. But, who's but now, here's the next idea I had. Since The Rock went with Amazon, I think you're going to see some kind of concerted uh, joint venture between Amazon and WWE mm-hmm. because The Rock is the connector. Makes sense? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Do you think WWE is remember, going to go into streaming? I, Everybody else is. I don't know why they wouldn't. See, I still don't understand streaming. And people look at me and say, what's to understand? I don't get it. I mean, I get it, but I don't understand how it works. And you don't have to explain to me. I'll just be ignorant for the rest Mm -hmm. of my life. Uh, I was going to attempt an explanation then. But the thing is with streaming is you say, well, it's like TV, except it's on demand and you can pick whatever you want to watch whatever time for a nominal monthly fee, apart from the times when it is live and then it's just like television, except it comes through your internet instead of through a cable or or an aerial. See, that's complicated. That's complicated as hell. It took you 30 seconds to describe it. Mm -hmm. So I don't get it. Okay, sorry about that. Dutch was at a slight Dutch angle there, and Dutch is going to tell me off now. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't noticed by now, James is a bit of a perfectionist. So the camera angle could be off of this much. Oh, you need to tilt it here, tilt it there. But he can see it better than I can, so thanks for telling me. At least you did it in a nice, courteous, polite English way. As I do everything. 